and none of these guys are safe. And that includes uh, my last guy here, which is Calvin Ridley. Not a safe player. I know people are very excited for his return. I'm excited for his return. Absolutely. I think it's bullshit that he had to sit out a year in the first place. But him moving from the Falcons to with the Jaguars, which is our like second favorite team now, <laughs> we might as well change the colors of this thing from green and yellow to the Jaguars. No, colors. no, no. We're, we'll never do that. Okay. Well, maybe not never. Maybe we can just occasionally. Maybe like an episode or two. Maybe yeah. like an episode we'll make a yeah. special uh, Jaguars color. Like the AFC South. Sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. We're going to be the homers for the AFC South episode. Oh, totally. <laughs> but anyways, Calvin Ridley being with the Jaguars and being with Trevor Lawrence, that is all fantastic in in theoretical world. At least he has been away for a year. That's the reality of it, mm -hmm. as much as we didn't want it. He is coming back to an offense that was doing fantastic without him last year, especially as the season wore on. We saw basically what was true, a true rookie year for certainly Travis Etienne, who was injured in his real rookie year. And Trevor Lawrence had to deal with Urban Meyer and his bullshit his entire rookie year. I don't even count that as a year. That is, he had to babysit. He, he wasn't even being able to quarterback. He had to like babysit that year. So in their first off, uh, first season together, rather, that Jaguars offense looked fantastic. And Christian Kirk looked really, really good. And I think people assume that Calvin Ridley steps into this offense and takes over and is the de facto number one receiver now. I don't see that as a given. Christian Kirk could absolutely retain that role, and which would not mean that Calvin Ridley is bad. Calvin Ridley could mm -hmm. still be fantastic as the second guy or the 1B, whatever you want to say. But in best ball, which is the only frame of reference we have for ADP right now that's legitimate, Calvin Ridley is going at least around ahead of Christian Kirk. And that just does not make sense to me. These are guys that should, if anything, be going back to back. I think as the off season wears on and we get to see more of Calvin Ridley out there, hype's going to intensify because we're just so excited for him to be back. that I think his ADP is going to crest up. I think there's going to be a big golf between Ridley and Kirk, in which case I'm going to be the guy taking Kirk everywhere. Um, again, doesn't mean Ridley will be bad, but I think that the expectations need to be tempered a little bit for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, we saw what that offense did last year, and it, it clicked really well. I love the addition, especially for the offense in general. As you said, we're, we're yeah. kind of uh, homers uh, for Jacksonville <laughs> now here. Uh, unabashedly, I don't care. I am proud of it. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how he fits in, just knowing he's been out. Yeah, is he is he in football shape? I would assume so, but we don't know. Uh, is he going to pick up on this offense? I mean, there's there's just a lot of question marks there. The the talent that he showed when he was with Atlanta was unquestionable. Like he he was awesome. Granted, that should still be there, but I don't know. It's a lot of question marks, and it'll be interesting to see how this team kind of how the ball gets distributed. You know, basically everything you said. I, I agree with you. Uh, not much to add there. <laughs> yes. 